Today I'm shooting uh, this 1861. It's called the Henry. It is uh, was brought out probably in the early part of the Civil War. Uh, it is a repeater. Some of the uh, uh, the soldiers purchased them themselves. More than just a single action uh, uh, of gun. It's more of a you, you cock it, and as you keep cocking and shooting, it keeps chambering shells. Uh, it holds. Uh, 15 shells. This would be your cattleman, your 1873 cattleman. Single action, which means you have to pull the trigger back and then fire. Now, I took a regular uh, gun. This is a brand new gun. And what I did is I uh, took all the, the finish off, of, all the bluing off of it. And also I uh, stripped it down, took all the bluing off of it. And it's natural. It's not, uh, there's no uh, oil or anything on it. Took off the, uh, the, uh, the grip and did the same thing. Stripped it on down, tongue oiled it. I like to have more of a natural look on this thing, not a brand new gun, if you will. I think we need to get younger shooters involved. Uh, right now, the shooters within cows are a little older right now. We'd like to get a younger mix in the crowd, more ideas, younger ideas. Um, we're losing a generation. And we'd like to also get more women involved, too. Women involved, their children get involved. Again, it's an organization that uh, uh, we, we begin each morning by the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. We do have a prayer before each shoot. Uh, it's very well organized, and I think we, it, it, it'd be fun for a lot of people. <laughs> Take me back to the place where the orange trees grow To my home in that evergreen shade Where the flowers from rivers green margins do grow